getting the honors of hosting this uh, particular event uh, tomorrow. Let's now talk about your safety on the road and your car. Joining me in studio now is Jomuya from uh, the uh, NTSA, the National Transport and Safety Authority. Almost missed that. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. And, um, uh, it's uh, gotten in, uh, to our attention that over 2 million motor vehicle owners in the country are required to acquire a new mandatory National Transport and Safety Authority sticker starting July the 1st. Now, the third license sticker will be placed on the windscreen of both new and used motor vehicles and will contain overt and covert features of the vehicle. This include the car model and the make, the chassis number, and uh, the registration number and details owner's details. Uh, notice for the introduction of the radio frequency identification chip was contained in the implementation of the traffic rules uh, 2016 in the legal notice 62 published in April the 15th Gazette notice. The implementation of the new rule will help cab road offences interchanging of number plates um, as well as reduce crimes conducted using motor vehicles. The chip is protected against a forgery and any attempt to remove it from the, uh, from the car and uh, destroys it. It will be linked to the Transport Integrated Management System, which contains all the data for transport operations. The fitting of motor vehicles with a chip will begin on July the 1st with vehicles seeking new registration. NTSC says apart from road safety, the chip will also help in the fight against a crime as carjacking will be reduced. Joe Muya, the, the Deputy Director of Licensing at uh, the NTSA now joins us in studio. June, July 1st yes. is uh, when everyone else is expected to get this uh, chip. Are we calling it a chip in, in, in their cars? Just give us more information about that. Yes, uh, basically this is, uh, uh, we are calling it uh, that identifier. Mm -hmm. You know, a vehicle is identified by currently a registration uh, plate mm -hmm. and the logbook. Mm -hmm. But uh, as you know, and as a country, we've undergone a lot of challenges uh, mm -hmm. before in terms of uh, both safety mm -hmm. and security mm -hmm. of our people. And as uh, one of the measures that uh, we did undertake and a technology that would be uh, managing this is uh, the RFID uh, identifier. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, a chip that will be uh, in that identifier and it will have uh, basically all the information as you rightly mentioned. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a technology that is used across the world mm -hmm. to ensure that uh, the security for for the nation and that is for example right now you can change your number plate thrice mm -hmm. uh, between here and Eldoret if you want to have some mischief yeah. and nobody will get you on the road mm -hmm. uh, and what we are saying it will be a thing of the past you will not be able to change any number plate because the this chip is readable it will, we will have readers across the country and uh, the cameras, the, the security cameras, where you will have uh, all the details of that vehicle. You cannot remove it. If you remove it, uh, the reader, of course, will know. And it reads for a long distance, such that uh, issues to do with carjacking and people stealing other people's vehicles mm -hmm. will be addressed. Among other other benefits that uh, we will find uh, in terms of our own other systems in teams, uh, transport integrated management system, uh, in terms of licensing, inspections, and all that. So let's understand this. Um, this particular chip that you fit in your car uh, will have all the information about, about your car. Right. If your car is carjacked, you would be able to know that a particular car has been carjacked. Does this mean it will also be able to track a vehicle? Uh, well, we at the moment we do not want to have a vehicle tracked. Mm -hmm. That is not the essence. It's not tracking. Mm -hmm. It's basically giving the law enforcers the information about a vehicle. For example, if you are passing through a roadblock, you would not be able to, to pass there. If the, the, the number plate and uh, the, that identifier differ, because definitely you know, the only thing that has been changed mm -hmm. is the number plate, mm -hmm. because you cannot remove the, 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 that particular sticker. So what we are saying is that uh, this, that identifier is not for tracking vehicles and tracking where they are. No, it is basically for securing that particular car in terms of when 
uh, uh, such things happen, you are able to tell a vehicle uh, details, all the details, owner, color, whether somebody has changed anything else uh, between now and uh, say Eldoret and Nakuru, you will get all that details. Mm -hmm. So how long are you giving Kenyans uh, to take their cars to be fitted with this third identifier? And does it come at an extra cost for an individual? Uh, yes, it does, because uh, uh, it's just a cost that we want to recover. And that uh, uh, is a one-off. It's not uh, renewable. It's just like a number plate, because mm -hmm. we are calling it a third identifier. identifier. It's not something you renew mm -hmm. every year. It's a one-off. And once it's stuck in your car, it remains there, even if you transferred that car. Mm -hmm. The details now will be changed uh, at the back office in terms of I've transferred my car to you uh, and the details. Mm -hmm. If you change the color, for example, again, uh, the, the, there will be some issues when the vehicle has totally been changed. Mm -hmm. uh, that time you may require uh, to, to, to do some issues. So, so but, how, uh, much, how much are you charging? Uh, the, we, we will be charging 700 shillings. Mm -hmm. Uh, per uh, sticker, mm -hmm. uh, which basically you, you can see it uh, uh, within a maximum of 10 years. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to change. Where can, can, can someone get their car fitted uh, with this particular device across the country? Uh, what we want to do first, and we will do it in phases, we want to start with the new vehicles. Mm -hmm. When you are registering a vehicle, we will issue you the number plate and we will stick uh, the, the identifier and uh, from there maybe uh, the, the way we are looking at it is from January mm -hmm. next year we will start uh, with the old ones as they go for inspection. Mm -hmm. As you take your vehicle for inspection it is inspected and then you also get the, uh, the identifier or that sticker. Mm -hmm. uh, the rest again uh, it, it will we have even a third phase mm -hmm. where all other Kenyans who either willingly want to go and have it because yeah. it's for your good as for well. For your own good uh, then they can visit any of our inspection centers and have the sticker done. So it will be done systematically? It is systematic, All it's right. in phases, mm -hmm. and uh, it will uh, the sticker will only be distributed by our office. All right, thank yes. you so much, John Muir, uh, for coming in and explaining that. Uh, there you have it. If you want uh, safety for yourself and your vehicle, get yourself that third identifier. Only costs you 700 shillings, but as he says, currently they start off with the new vehicles before in January next year is when they will be uh, working on the old vehicles. Jomuya is the Deputy Director of Licensing at the National Transport.